To make our bubble group follow Justine's finger, we'll use a couple of behaviors. In the library, in Behaviors, I'll select the Motion Tracking folder, and then I'll select the Analyze Motion behavior. As we can see in the preview area, this behavior will analyze movement in a clip, and we can then apply that data to another tracking behavior. I'll drag the behavior onto this third clip of Justine. Notice, by the way, how the other two Justine video clips are grayed out in the layers list? That means that they do not exist at the current playhead location. In the center of the canvas, a small red circle containing a plus symbol appears. This is called a tracker. With a playhead on the frame where I want the tracking to start, I'll drag the tracker up and place it at the tip of Justine's finger. The zoomed in view of the original shot that appears makes this easy to do. Now on the heads up display, I'll click the Analyze button. If I step through the frames with the arrow keys, we see the tracker indicated by the large dot stays with her finger until it gets close to her body, then it jumps down, then the X indicates that the tracker has failed, probably because of the motion blur at this point. In the Behaviors Inspector, we can open the parameters for track 1, and it may be possible to track a few more frames by adjusting the track size, or the search size, and then analyzing again. But I happen to know that this track is just too difficult to continue once Justine's finger moves in front of her body. It's not a problem, though. I'll address the rest of the track in the next episode. Right now, let's match the movement of the bubble to the part of the track that worked correctly. Back in the library, I'll drag the match move behavior onto the bubble group to track all the elements in it. Notice in the heads-up display that Motion guessed that we want to track the bubble group to the third Justine video clip, which is exactly right. If it were wrong, we could easily drag a different clip to this little well. I'll click the gear menu and select the Analyze Motion Behavior as the data source for the match move behavior. If I now step through the clip, the bubble tracks right to Justine's finger. If it isn't quite centered anymore, it's an easy fix. You can easily reposition a tracked object, and it will keep the track. The Analyze Motion and Match Move Behaviors are a powerful pair of tools for tracking an object to movement in a shot, as long as the shot is trackable.